G'day, thanks for joining us for Saturday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson with you. Welcome to Giant Stadium. Perfect weather for football. As to be said, there's plenty of empty seats around. Collaborating with me in the commentary booth is Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hutto. Always a pleasure. Today's big game is between GWS Giants and Geelong. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. We play the game as it should be played. It's a big day for the Cats forwards. If they can get on top of the GWS Giants defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. GWS Giants winning the toss. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go. It's GWS Giants taking on Geelong. Kicks hurriedly. Stevenson wins the ball in the air. Now with a low spearing kick. Wins the race to the ball. Parker just dismissed the tackler. Releases the handball. Sweeping handball. Morrison collects the kick. And now they create a turnover. Stevenson gets in a good position. Moves it by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. McMahon drives the kick. It's marked by Skinner. Skinner has resources out wide. Well picked up. She's picked up an injury, that's for sure. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. McWilliams had it, lost it, hits the target by hand. Beeson going for number one. That kick was pure. No doubt about it. She's excited about that one. GWS Giants gets the first. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Back with another centre bounce. Guides it down. Finding the loose ball was Cranston. Dishes it off. Morrison hands it to open space. She has the ball, with the ball now. Gets the handball away. The handball hits the target. McDonald going for number one. Geelong fans getting excited about that one. The teammates rush over. Geelong kick their first. The game is back underway. Allen won it. Wasting a lot of effort there. Goes by hand. Fighting hard was Morrison. The ball in the hands of Darby. Gathers it now. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. She likes her chances from here. They get the goal through Derby. Look at her. She really enjoyed that one. The Cats with only a goal lead. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Has it now. Dismisses the tackler. Right, Marks. Right, kicks it to the square. Marked by McDonald. 
Got the hands free. Goes by hand to Kirk. Her first touch of the footy. Purcell kicks hurriedly. Terrific mark there. Hickey uses it by foot. The mark is taken by Cranston. Chooses to play on. Takes possession. She's got the football now. She gets her hands on the footy. So close, but just a behind. Geelong by seven points. Hetherington looking to bring it back into play. Works the ball out of the 50. Doesn't take the mark. Darby dug out the loose ball. Whiteley short by hand. Puts on a big hit. Has a player running for her. At full stride, receives the handball. Hurried kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Decides to kick. Whiteley can't hold on to the tackle. Ends up marking uncontested. Going for goal number one. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. The Cats go the GWS Giants. But eight. Hetherington plays on to herself. Looks up with a kick. Fends off the tackler. Keeps the kick low. Randall runs after the ball. Quick handball. Picks it up. Tariki brushed off easily. Chose to kick it. Purcell gets on the end of this. I can tell already that's not too good. She looks injured. That doesn't look good. Don't think she'll be coming back. 30 metres from home. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number two. A good result there. And that's a goal for the Cats. Gets him reward for her efforts. Geelong could kick. Gary, your thoughts on the first quarter? Geelong came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time. Plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Geelong could getting more of the ball on the outside, and it's the outside run that is generally... Players ready to start the second quarter. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Punched away. Taken by Boyd. Great grab. Hetherington with a low spearing kick. Uses it across half back. Finds a target. Parker kicks it. Takes an uncontested mark. Brush has resources out wide. Bonner has resources out wide. The loose ball picked up. Marks now and can send it back. Slams it on the boot. It's going to be deemed as deliberate. Uses it by foot. Stands tall and marks. Movement by hand. Quickly onto the boot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. McDonald with an easy mark. Works it across the ground. Just got the hands in the back there. Uses it across half back. The mark has been taken. Goes forward with the kick. Marks in a bit of space. Looks to move it by foot. The mark is taken by Karras. 35 metres out. Lining up now. Directly in front. She drives it towards goal. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. That will settle her nerves. Gets her first on the ball. This lead getting bigger now. She's enjoying that goal. Stevenson with the hit. Picks up the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Beeson won herself a free. Goes by foot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Puts boot to ball. 
Marked by McDonald. Uses it by foot. Boy takes a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Ivy takes it strongly. 45 metres out. She heads for home. Puts it right through the middle. Ivy love kicking that one. That's five in a row for Geelong. The margin is 26. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. The Giants have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beaten. Good body work to win the mark. Bark with a short hand pass. Rushes with the kick. Easily takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Tully finds the ball on the move. Got boot to ball. Staunt it. Got under it. Keeps it moving. Slick with the hands. Linking by hand. Ball gets cut off. Scoops up the ball. Kirk goes for territory. Somehow got the ball out. McMahon hacks it out of there. Marks that ball uncontested. Karras with a spearing kick. Strong mark in the contest. Kick by Wright. Hetherington uses the body well. Hetherington sends one up towards the wing. A big contested grab. Smith goes with the kick. You've seen a half hour, Gaz. Your thoughts? A good first half from Geelong. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Geelong are falling behind in the contested possessions. They don't want to give the opposition a chance to get back into it. Thanks for that, Gary. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. We're back in the middle now. Boy, with the punch. McMahon just put it on the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Moved on by Barr. Nice mark under pressure. McDonald, the number one ranked player on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of her. A clean pickup. Gives it, don't argue. She gets her hands on the footy. Receives the handball and takes off. She takes the mark. The kick from Smith. Beeson marks uncontested. Staunton receives the ball. McDonald doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Putting this one through would give GWS Giants plenty of confidence. Staunton will have to put everything into this one. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. Does well to cut off the kick. Kick by Mick Williams. Cranston did well to win that ball. Elects to kick. Wright has it. Chose to kick it. O'Connor used the body to take that mark. Uses it now. Good mark there. Just gets a hand in. Decides to keep it alive. Goes by foot. Barclay with the shot. Mops up the loose ball. McDonald rushes with the kick. Skinner slams it onto the boot. The ball mopped up. McMahon puts it out in front. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Geelong have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Swats it. Bonner wins the foot race. Boy, hurried kick. Picked off the deck. Hacking it out of there. Nice work from Stevenson. Kicks to the square. Great mark under pressure. Decides to kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. McMahon puts it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Gets it away. Almost cut it off. Finds the loose ball. O'Connor gets a quick kick away. A good mark under the circumstances. Goes with the kick. Strong mark in the contest. 
Clark lines up from long range. Move it on. She can put it through. Hetherington couldn't hang on to the ball. Taylor slick with the hands. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Okay. Cranston going for number one. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong have six unanswered goals. The lead is now 32. Rush just put it on the boot. Randall kicks in heavy traffic. Can't take the mark. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Yeah, she's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Bennett going for broke now. Schmidt just threw it. Kirk moves it now. Takes the mark. The kick from O'Connor. A race for the loose ball. They can create from this. Three Gain some territory. Schmidt goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. She sinks her first goal. Smiles all round. GWS Giants now only trailed by 26. Geelong in front by 26 at the end of the third quarter. Geelong believe they can win this game. It's time to... McDonald leading the ranking points on the ground. She's doing everything right. Time to find out what happens in this final term. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Clears the contest. Parker kicks hurriedly. Smith made the tricky bounce look easy. Takes a simple grab. Bit of an angle for this kick. She can put it through. Does well to cut off the kick. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. In the back. Bonner gives away a free for in the back. Slams it on the boot. McMahon has it. Moves the ball by foot. Decides to soccer it. Dug out the loose ball. Runs it over the boundary line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. She can take off after that handball. She gains the possession. O'Connor grabbed it clean. Marked by Darby. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Manufactures the handball. Picked off by Zrika. Handball's out into space. McMahon pushes her opponent off with one hand. Taylor gives it to the player running pass. Bar throws the ball away. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. She drives it towards goal. Hickey delivers with a straight drop pass. This kick stretches the lead. Celebrating hard. Geelong is threatening to blow this margin wide open. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Geelong are setting up really well defensively, and they're able to cut off these attacks with intercept marks like that. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Puts on a bump. Beeson knows they desperately need this one. Can she deliver? She acknowledges the crowd. GWS Giants close the gap to 26. That's a really good team goal. It's great to watch her, though. Plenty of excitement. We're back in motion. Allen thumps it forward. Zrika drives the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Moves it by foot. 
Cranston has a great set of hands. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Keeps it moving. Handball finds Darby. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Randall wins the ball in the air. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Picked up under pressure. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Dal Pass brings it out of the pack. Ball back into play. Allen clears the contest. Showing control was Mick Williams. Practicing some fancy moves. Loses control of the ball. Cranston picks up the loose ball. Slams it onto the boot. Takes that one strongly. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Geelong forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Testing shot outside 50. Beeson keeps that one low. Allen sets her sights on the goals. Blasts it inside the 50. Barclay takes it well. Just sneaks in for a behind. Can't make the most of that chance. Geelong, the victorious. Sometimes you're just happy to walk away with the four points. They weren't at their best, but they did what they had to do. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. At the end of the game, the scores are Geelong 44, GWS Giants 19. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks, Hello. Until next time, that is.